Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jessie coming at you with another video. Today I wanted to do a book review for you guys. This is my first self-published book that I read this year and it is called Fractures the, by N.K. Leem. It is the first book in the Ledgers of a Dark Mage series. I don't know whether it's going to be a trilogy, a duology, whether it's going to be more. But I do know that it's the first book and that the second one is supposed to be coming out in March, I believe, of this year. So not too much longer. I will leave the author's like Instagram handle down below because that's how I found this book was through Instagram. I found her. She's got a really small, adorable Instagram. Found her, saw that she was an author, and decided to pick up her book. It was actually on Kindle Unlimited, so that was really cool because, I, like I said before, I've been trying to do self-published authors, and Kindle Unlimited has just been an amazing way to find self-published authors and get their books and try them out, and I've been really enjoying it. I read this book in two days, so it's not super, super long. Um, I believe... On Kindle it said it was a little over three hours so I don't really go by their time so much but it estimated me I think it three and a half hours for the, how long it was to read that book but I want to give you a quick summary of what the book is the book itself is about these two brothers Don and Thaleon and they are at the very beginning of the book, they are taken by raiders when their city is attacked. They're taken on a ship with a bunch of other children like they are going to be sold into slavery. So like I said, it gets dark and it gets dark quick. Some things happen on the boat. The boys end up getting separated and Dawn goes off to be sold as a slave and Thaleon is taken by a noble lord because lo and behold not really a spoiler he is the dark mage in this story powers come out he is a dark mage he's taken on by this nobleman that takes him to be trained but he can't let anyone know that he is a dark mage because all dark mages are killed by the crown because of a war that had happened like many many years ago and they believed that all dark mages were just were evil dark equals bad equals evil equals let's they will kill anyone that has come to found that they have dark mage powers and then light mages are trained at this like kind of magic school setting which is really fun um, so he has to hide the fact that he's a dark mage. Obviously that causes some strife because he is a very young character. He is about, in my head canon, I'm pretty sure he's like 11, 12 in this story. So he is very, very young. So having to keep that big of a secret does cause some issues. But like I said, it is, without giving too much away, that's pretty much the setup of this book. It is intense from start to finish. It is an intense book. I rated it a three out of five stars because I did enjoy it. There were some things that I didn't love, but overall I really enjoyed it. And I'm really excited for the second one that's gonna be coming out in March. So my pros of this book, is that the magic system was decently easy to understand. It, would ex it was explained well, but it wasn't in an info dump type way. It was explained the way it's being explained to the child as he is coming in and learning the powers for himself. And it was a pretty simple system, uh, easy to understand. I got it. I enjoyed that. I like when I can understand a magic system. I also really, really love the way Liam wrote the brotherly bond. These two boys would do absolutely anything for each other. 
you know, they are brothers. They would do anything for each other, even though they are not, you know, biological by blood brothers. And there are some heart breaking moments between the two of them that just at the beginning of the book that just get you right in the feels. It's a very quick paced. You start out right in the action, which I enjoy. I do enjoy like a quick start you out right there. Here's what it is like dump you right in the middle of it. It was easy to follow dual perspective. So you got Dawn's perspective and Thaleon's perspective and they were really simple to follow. I really enjoyed that. I did like the perspective of Thaleon better than Dawn's and we'll get into why, but I definitely enjoyed the Thaleon story perspective better than the Dawn perspective. So there is a trigger warning for this book. We're going to get into some of my cons. The trigger warning is sexual assault and child abuse. And it comes in hot and heavy, like close to the beginning. And I was not expecting it. So if you want to read this book, go in knowing that there are themes of sexual assault in this book as it pertains to children. It's not graphic by any means. It's not explicit. It's not anything like that, but it's there and you know, it's there. And a lot of it is, is a, is a push forward in the story, but it's not all senselessly there because since it's talking about slave owners and slaving and you know, what is life is like for these slave children, it kind of puts that into perspective for you, how rough and gruff and just, just awful a lot of the rich people in this world are. But not knowing that that was in there going in it, I was shocked when I started reading it. And there were a few scenes that I felt were just unnecessary. Like there was one scene with the sl slave children that I just thought we, we could have done without the gratuitousness of it but I can see why it was put there, but it's just, it wasn't my style. So honestly, that was probably my biggest con of this book is it's something I didn't expect. Um, but the majority of it had a purpose and there was just that one scene that just did not bode well with me. Uh, another complaint about this book was the ending. It, I, I was like scrolling through my Kindle like, all right, I know there's more. It just ended. It was super abrupt. It didn't feel like it had any kind of arc, a nice ending. It wasn't even a cliffhanger. I can do a cliffhanger. This was just like, and scene. So that kind of got me like I wanted a couple more chapters to really get me out of the story. Overall, I did, while I did enjoy it, it did feel like it was a lot of setup for a second book. Like it was a lot of building and emotional building and world building and setup and learning. And there was no real big bad. There was no real enemy. There was no real antagonist. And I, I kind of missed that. Like I enjoyed all the setup and the world building was amazing. But like I said, it was just a little anticlimactic at the ending. And, but I mean, that does make me want to read the second one. I do want to see what happens with these two boys in the next book. Like what I need to know. <laughs> the, one thing that N.K. Leem did very, very well was writing believable relationships, believable non-romantic relationships, because there is no romance in this book. There is no love story. 
it is brotherly love, friendship, and I, I adore that. So she did that super, super well. You know, I'm excited to read the second one. I love a good self-pub. This is actually, I believe, her debut novel. So I'm excited to see what else she has to give because, whew, it'll, this one will punch you in the feels. There's some things that I would fix about it, but it punches you right in the feels and hooks you and makes you want to know more. So if you want to pick it up, I will leave all the information down below. Um, her information, where you can find it, it's on Kindle Unlimited. So if you want to check it out that way, it's a really good way to pick up this book. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good one and enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys later.